Okay, so part two uh, for our uh, WLED light box headphone stand. I'm gonna show how to install WLED software on the on our um, development board. I use uh, ESP8266, uh, and there is uh, ESP32, uh, which is more popular and more capable. Uh, both of them are very most popular of these uh, cheap uh, development boards. So whichever you choose, uh, they both will work just fine for the WLD application we need. <coughs> so uh, yeah, there won't be really much difference. They are uh, both widely used and uh, and uh, yeah, they, uh, <coughs> they both work perfectly. Yeah, and, uh, so. Let's get into it, guys. Um, it's not that hard, really. It's easy. Uh, just uh, I'm, I'm going to be showing that and uh, to do the wiring for uh, for the electronics. So come on, let's get into it. Let's start with plugging in our device into our computer. Okay, once you plugged in your uh, <coughs> your board, uh, let's uh, we can go ahead and uh, start installing the WLED uh, software to the board. Uh, it should be actually quite simple, plug and play, but uh, you might need to install additional drivers. Uh, but uh, for uh, for me and uh, the board I have. Uh, I didn't have to do anything really. Just plug it in, and uh, here is all the latest releases of the software. Um, let's just go ahead and grab the latest one, and um, yeah, can, uh, choose the plain one. There is different boards uh, with uh, with the microphones. You can uh, where it can be uh, reactive to audio and uh, stuff like that. But uh, just uh, pick the plain one. And uh, <coughs> uh, your the board should uh, actually show up here as the com, and the, the number at the end could be different for uh, for you. And for me, it's three. Uh, just pick the one if you have more than one plugged in. Pick the correct one, and uh, yeah, press connect, and uh, there you go. And gives uh, an option install WLED. There you go. Uh, yeah, it asks if you actually want to install it. Yeah, and uh, the old data before and installed. If you had used it for other stuff, it will be erased. Yeah. Okay. Install. Uh, you will need to connect it to your Wi-Fi. So choose your Wi-Fi and uh, enter your password here and. Uh, Let's do that, and uh, we'll keep, uh, we'll keep going for it from there. And that success, uh, our device is connected to network, so we can uh, press uh, visit device, and there we have it. That's our uh, WLED interface. Uh, so we can uh, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna solder it in, in the in our uh, headphone stand and we can uh, proceed from there. Okay, so first I grab a uh, addressable LED strip and uh, snip off the connector because I'm not gonna need that because I'm uh, gonna solder it uh, right to the controller. So snip snip. And I use one of these female USB Type-C things to power it. Now everything's soldered up and uh, that's how it looks like. Uh, soldered wires on the pins on the back of the controller. And there's the diagram how it should look like. Win is for uh, 5 volt in from your power and uh, ground as usual and a D4 for a signal 
for a LED strip for changing the colors and stuff. Now that everything is uh, uh, put together, soldered and put together, you can uh, test it out if everything works as it should. Um, so there's different, there's the effect library, different um, different effects. Let's try out one, and yeah, everything is working fine. There you go, different um, color schemes choose from yeah different yeah whatever you want and uh, yeah seems to be working fine now there's uh, yeah there's brightness and you can uh, <coughs> uh, set different presets for it and uh, Let's go through some uh, configurations uh, you need to might need for the start. Now <clears throat> that is our um, LED preferences. Just uh, pick the strip, uh, the color order. Just in just in case uh, uh, your colors don't match the ones in the settings there and if you press something press blue and shows up green you can uh, change the different uh, schemes maybe much your your, uh, your light strip might be different uh, <coughs> color order there mm, yeah and you can uh, choose the length of uh, of your strip uh, how many LEDs you have in, uh, in the, your uh, project you just made yeah and uh, what else what else uh, where was the oh yeah here uh, you can um, apply a preset for the start for so otherwise if you don't have presets saved uh, it's just gonna start on uh, on the blank uh, yellow light a simple yellow light uh, just uh, save a preset and then uh, as you can set it here apply preset at the booth and uh, it's gonna start at the preset you just uh, save there now um, and the Wi-Fi setup yeah, here is your um, Wi-Fi password and um, right and you can uh, change different domain uh, for uh, your um, uh, for every time you go to the um, browser you can uh, just order I uh, can uh, say Roblox uh, that local and if you go in your browser and type in Roblox that local it will open straight away to the WLED and controls for your um, for your light. So press save. Perfect. Uh, yeah, you can uh, reload. Okay, go back. Our, um, our uh, light and uh, yeah that's about it so yeah guys if you find this helpful uh, please yeah leave it uh, leave a comment leave a like subscribe and uh, thank you for watching and I see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.